I'm Dr. Neil Barchez, Baylor College of Medicine, Houston, Texas, back again with another video for instruction. Uh, this is something to supplement uh, our other video. You may have watched it uh, already, or hopefully you will watch uh, a video on how to perform a vascular anastomosis using a double anchor technique. Um, some of the details that uh, are relevant to loading the needle uh, we may have left out uh, on that video, so I want to spend a few minutes talking about that in this video. Uh, and I see it as a common uh, area for improvement in uh, at least uh, people who rotate from a general surgery service to our service. It may be something that's a little different from non-vascular cases and how you're used to uh, loading up the needle. Uh, first, a few general points, main points. Uh, in general, the Castro Viejo needle drivers, the optimal load, uh, if you look top down on the needle, um, you can see that I have it loaded up as a 45 degree more or less forward angle, forward cant, uh, K-A-N-T. Um, that's probably a little different from what you may be used to in non-vascular cases. I, it seems like more often in non-vascular cases, you're loading it up a little bit more as a uh, 90 degree angle, you know, maybe a little bit more like this. Uh, on a rider or Mayo type needle driver. Here with the Castros, the optimal load is typically about a 45 degree angle. I think with my hand behind it, the autofocus seems to work a little bit better. Uh, so in general, that's gonna help you. There may be times where uh, a little bit less of an angle could be helpful. There's almost never uh, time when this reverse angle will help you, where it's kind of loaded up uh, it, it, like a negative angle. That's that's not going to help you. Uh, even when you're sewing in the back corner towards you, well, what you should be doing is a forward angle, and then what you do is you just, I'm putting my uh, wrist out, I'm uh, kind of putting it away from me, and then I'm driving the needle I can get the focus. You can see that it's driving towards my right elbow. I'm right-handed. This puts the needle in a direction where I could drive it towards my right elbow. I don't need to do some goofy uh, reverse angle on it. And I can promise you, even though uh, cognitively it may seem like that could be helpful, it's not. I can promise you in, in almost no situation will that be uh, helpful to you. Uh, so, uh, you know, pretty much always some forward angle. Uh, another thing that's uh, basic, and hopefully by now you do know this, but uh, always loading it up at the uh, end of the needle drivers. Uh, one of my uh, uh, former partners, Dr. Hussam Yunus, referred uh, to this as the capital T. You do want a capital T. You don't want a lowercase t. And pardon me, I'm loading this up with my hands because I'm in my office here. I don't have a good set of uh, pickups. But you can see here, uh, there, um, that it's uh, kind of loaded up right in the middle of the, the needle drivers. Never optimal, you're sacrificing precision when you do that. You always want it loaded up in the, the needle tip. And I guess just a word on how to practically do that, uh, a couple different ways. One is, well in general, um, reduce a three-dimensional problem into two dimensions and just uh, makes things a little easier. Uh, so in general, lay it down on a flat surface. You don't want to do a, a mid-air, like a mid-air refueling when you're trying to get every, everything all uh, coordinated uh, like this with your pickups in mid-air. Uh, it's better if you lay the uh, needle down on a flat surface and either putting it down like this. Let's see if I can get the autofocus again here, laying it down like this, grabbing the needle and then getting the, um, the angle that you want, doing the same kind of thing on your finger, uh, on a, your glove finger, you know, you may just adjust it carefully like this, being careful to protect yourself, of course, or laying it down on a flat surface like an Ioban draped surface. That's a nice smooth surface uh, where you can lay the needle down flat and then you just pick it up at the angle that you need, like that. Ioban works well for that. Um, lap pads, other surfaces that are not smooth, not so much. 
so um, forward angulation uh, at the tip of the needle driver and then one other variable for the most part again the default should be about halfway on the curve of the needle this is a 3 8 needle a c1 needle uh, I'm, I'm talking about about half of the length of the needle sorry about the autofocus here about half of the curve of the needle what you uh, may get very often is when it's first handed to you again i think a lot of people are in uh, general surgery mode where this is helpful for other situations like closing fascia or something else for a different type of needle different type of situation uh, but you get it loaded up like this and probably uh, more often still you know 90 degrees at the end of the the metal of the needle um, it's suboptimal and I, I liken it to baseball or softball where you're, uh, you want to choke up on the needle so that you get a little bit more precision. You may sacrifice power, but power is not really what you need. You're not taking big, huge bites uh, for a vascular anastomosis. You're taking smaller bites. You, uh, I, would, I would recommend that you favor precision over size of the bite or power. Uh, so in general, about halfway uh, on the, the needle length. Um, I would say that um, you know most of the time I get the needle like this and I, I pretty much once I get it I pretty much always adjust it and I adjust the angle just very slightly depending on the exact situation the exact bite that I want to take. I'm looking at the bite that I want to take uh, and depending on exactly what I have in my mind what I intend uh, I'm doing a little micro adjustments on the needle. I may have it maybe, you know, maybe a 55 degree angle. Maybe it's a 50 degree angle. Maybe I'm choking up a little bit more than in other bites. Maybe I am uh, a little bit further back on the needle curve. Ne pretty much never all the way back there. You know, little adjustments, and again, this is like uh, uh, selecting your, I'm, I'm not a golfer, but it seems like uh, when they're on TV, uh, what golfers do, they're kind of uh, choosing, the, you know, they're, they're looking at the, the green and they're choosing their club based on what the exact angle, height, grass blade height, you know, all the different variables in the, uh, the green and whatever's going to get them in the hole, uh, they're, they're being very precise in their, their setup. Uh, you should be too. Uh, my two cents uh, between this video and the uh, double anchor anastomosis video. Uh, my hope is that this would uh, get you get you teed up for success. Thank you.